So I just got done seeing the latest trailer for the upcoming core of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Core 3 and I ain't gonna lie, it's breathtakingly beautiful. The art, the animation, the choreography, everything about it. It feels like every time they drop one of these seasons of Bleach is just marvelous to look at because they do their thing. And not to mention the fact that the source material from the Thousand Year Blood War of what Taite Kubo, the original creator of Bleach actually did is awesome. But then it got me to thinking a little bit about Bleach and just what it really represents and ultimately how it really changed the big three and even shonen anime to a certain degree because for the longest time historically going all the way back to the days of fist of the north star saint seiya and every generation of shonen before we got to some of the more recent stuff the norm was that we would get hundreds of episodes that would just continue on and on shonen anime was this ongoing adventure that never ended until one day they would be like hey manga's over anime's over over. and oftentimes a lot of elements from the anime including aesthetics story choreography hell just the way it's presented would not be to the best of capabilities a lot of times it would feel like they were rushing things because at the end of the day producing a new episode of animation each and every week is no short feat by all means it's actually a tall order and honestly shonen anime while yes it's always been notoriously some of the most popular stuff that the medium of anime in general could present there would be chunks of the anime that we would get that would just not be to the best of the capabilities of what this series could be. I mean fast forwarding from the times of the 70s and 80s and even some of the 90s all the way to like the Naruto Naruto Shippuden era you've seen that one of the big hurdles that anime in particular a long running shonen anime had to overcome was the fact that they would be packed with filler and episodes where the animation would sometimes be abysmal to the point where we would be like really they let that go through? I mean personally it wasn't a big big deal to me but even going to like iconic moments in the anime where pain and naruto fought there was that infamous scene where he says my pain is greater than yours and a lot of people gave heck to studio piro because they felt like the style of it was just inappropriate and it didn't really fit the overall serious nature of the pain arc and the situation at hand and again i have to attribute a lot of that to the fact that they were on a deadline they had certain amount of budget certain amount of crew certain amount of just in general time Time, and they may do it what they could everything wasn't perfect but ultimately they would get the job done enough to present you again a new episode every week fast forward a little more after that and you start getting seasonal anime and while seasonal anime was definitely a breath of fresh air where you would get 12 to 24 episodes every year every other year ultimately it helped a lot of these shonen anime to avoid certain pitfalls that their predecessors would face such as filler animation that wasn't up to par art that was kind Kind of could have done better and in general stuff like my hero academia showcased that things can be different but even after a certain point with my hero academia a lot of flack started coming in that keeping up with the schedule 24 episodes every year has been rigorous and it didn't quite showcase what shonen anime on a seasonal release could truly be pass the ball over to studio piro and you started to see certain changes as the times went on we went from black clover being one of the final shonen anime that's long running to end its run back in 2021 and then you also had the boruto anime that went a few years after that but then in 2023 the boruto naruto next generations anime also wrapped itself up and both of those anime had their own separate problems black clover in particular didn't have the greatest of animation at times there were some scenes where people would be like yo why asta looks like he's stretching what's happening here and then the boruto anime has been notoriously vilified for having endless amounts of filler or episodes that just in general have nothing to do with stuff that went on in the manga you'd have random teams that would be focused on for episodes you'd have arcs that was just focusing in on maybe characters that are important but they're not doing anything of relevance like having tea parties with kawaki and himawadi was kind of like come on son what are we doing here and i fast forward to all that not to mention jumping over the fact that one piece that has its own separate problems where for the most part notoriously one piece has episodes that feel like they go on forever because they will adapt small portions of the manga because the manga and anime are so close between releases so you get like episodes that adapt nearly maybe eight pages ten pages sometimes when it's been showcased that in order to properly make a full-on episode of anime it usually takes about a chapter and a half to maybe even two chapters three if you really want to get stuff going in order to make a proper anime episode so one piece has had a slow pacing type of situation with it as well but then there's one giant 
giant goliath of that previous big three era of naruto one piece and bleach since the inception of the thousand year blood war anime and we got that first trailer that made the internet go into a frenzy the bleach thousand year blood war anime i feel personally has changed the way people and the industry in general has approached anime in particular battle anime from shonen jump the bleach thousand year blood war anime based off the first two cores and seemingly with the trailer that we got showcasing what's to come next it shows that studio piro took all of the criticisms all of the problems that they had faced whether it be with the naruto shippuden anime whether it be with stuff like black clover and boruto they took it all into consideration consolidated a lot of aspects and came up with a release schedule and in general a production schedule that has just immensely showcased how you can truly make a shonen anime that is indeed seasonal but at the same time of the highest quality and i feel like it changed a lot of things prior to the bleach styles in your blood war anime being announced or even being a thing a lot of the anime studios were still kind of clinging on to releasing an episode each and every week including Piro themselves but once they seen the massive and enormous success that the bleach styles in your blood war anime had well just before it the black clover anime went into a hiatus and we got one film from it but for the most part black clover kind of got put to the side the boruto anime after over 290 episodes has been put on hiatus with a promise to return and a lot of people are theorizing that for the most part they're going to wait until bleach's anime ends its run with the thousand year blood war before they bring the boruto anime back and even some of the ongoing anime as well like one piece we've just seen massive improvements over the last couple of years where one piece's animation has been amazing anywhere from going to the wano arc to egghead it's just been beautiful to look at and sure there's stuff like demon slayer that has just been an anomaly because studio you foldable it's like they're beings from another planet because the level of creation that they do is just out of this world but you put that to the side and you see stuff like bleach an older ip by studio Piro, an animation studio that's been around a long time breathing new air into the industry and showcasing you can do a seasonal anime you can do it at the highest of quality with the art and even the animation you could even do original stories that wasn't particularly in the manga with utilizing the original author having him come in and create something new that wasn't from the manga but it still very much so fits and is canonically connected with the entirety of the story epic battles great pacing where you don't feel like you're stuck on a single fight or a single moment for episodes on end the bleach styles in your blood war i personally feel not only changed the big three and how these series are approached in terms of art animation and in general their anime but i think it changed battle anime as a whole i remember when the first core of the bleach styles in your blood war anime came out it premiered the same time as the chainsaw man anime and at that particular point it was a little bit of a split on what was going to be the big dog that takes the cake in terms of the most popular anime of that season and bleach blew chainsaw man out the water despite the fact that it was done by studio mappa another notoriously high quality animation studio but with studio puro brought forth with the bleach styles in your blood war anime it just hit different and i think one of the key ingredients that allowed for the bleach styles in your blood war to be of such high quality and consistency is due to a lengthy amount of pre-production time i want to say it was early 2020 when the bleach styles in your blood war anime got officially announced and it didn't premiere until two years later and those two years probably made the biggest of differences as to why bleach styles in your blood war has been able to go on every year with a new season but also with such high quality studio puro learned from their mistakes of for example black clover the character designs for some of the main key characters being done just months before the anime was set to premiere those type of approaches are just antiquated in comparison to having a lengthy amount of time to work on these things which is also why it's a good thing that the boruto anime has been on hiatus since last year because it's giving the crew down at studio puro ample amount of time to work on these things to make sure that when it comes out they have a clear roadmap and clear direction on how to execute this thing properly i can't stress the importance of pre-production time and being able to make sure everything is ready to go before launching something especially of the magnitude of a multi-million dollar production such as an anime and i think this is a demonstration that bleach and its thousand of blood war 
more anime. Studio Puro really struck gold and understood exactly how to make a seasonal anime release based off a popular battle franchise and make it to the best of capabilities. I mean, there was even that big announcement that Naruto was getting some original episodes of OG Naruto and all of this stuff. And they kind of even put that to the side, which I'm going to accredit to probably the production aspect wasn't up to snuff. And when you got something like Bleach raising the bar and raising the standard of what things could and should be. Yeah, Bleach really changed shonen anime as a whole with this latest set. But let me know how you guys feel about this whole thing. Do you think that Bleach changed the big three moving forward and just in general anime as a whole when it comes to the battle series? And do you think that's the reason why Studio Puro has put stuff like Black Clover and Boruto on the back burner while they focus in on this because they're making sure to produce quality over quantity? That's all I have for this one. I'm Tim. As always, people, have an awesome day. Subscribe and hit that bell to get more. Thank you so much. So many ways to make it happen. Clear the acting from the me. Let me see. So many ways to get you here.